Some Orlando homeowners are hoping to find out who is in charge of their hijacked HOA tonight. A collection agency is battling with the former HOA president in court. And while that fight's going on, nearly 50 people have liens on their homes and could lose their largest investment in life. Channel 9's Janine Reyes is live now where the meeting is scheduled to happen. And Janine, you're hearing a lot of people planning to go to that meeting. Yeah, Bob, several homeowners and the attorney they've hired to help figure out this mess plan to be at tonight's meeting. It wasn't clear initially who called this meeting, the former HOA president or 1GMA, the company placing liens on dozens of homes there in Vista Lago. But we have just confirmed this meeting space was actually booked by a member of Orlando's Neighborhood Relations Department. This sign is what alerted homeowners to the meeting. Yesterday, someone took it down. Still, homeowners at risk for losing it all plan to attend, and they hope to get some answers. The city's neighborhood relations team will be here to help, but they've told us they will not take a side. That is for the courts to decide in what could be a lengthy lawsuit. Some homeowners have paid the HOA president. Others paid the collection agency. Some just stopped paying when the HOA claimed it was hijacked. Still, 48 of them, some who have receipts showing they paid someone, now have liens on their homes, all placed there by one GMA for non-payment of dues. We learned tonight one GMA is also accused of not paying their bills. They're being evicted for not paying rent. Court documents show they owe a $5,000 balance. Now, that attorney representing those homeowners tells me he did request HOA documentation from 1GMA. They have not responded as required by law. We'll, of course, be working tonight to get some answers from 1GMA and that former HOA president. For now, we're live in Orlando. Janine Reyes, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.